Today we're gonna look at four different sets of snap circuits. Very exciting. Uh, we have Flying Saucer Plus, we have FM Radio, we have Snap Circuit Arcade, and we have the Snap Circuit Junior Build Over 100 exciting projects. 100 yeah. projects! First we're gonna go over each of them and stay, make sure to stay till the end because we'll do which ones you should buy and why. Finger. Finger. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Push the button. Three, two, one. Ideally, these are for ages uh, eight and up, but once you're done, if you want to put it together, it's fun for even two-year-olds. That was a UFO Flying Saucer Plus by Snap Circuit. And next, FM Radio. Let's give it a try. Put this one in here. Can we have one of those? Like. There you go. Push. You ready? Hmm. Okay, turn the switch S1. Turn it to on. Yeah. Press the R button. Batteries, U4. Oh, you know what? We need this. Let's try it again. So we're going to give up on this one. Um, the instructions don't show. We're going to do another project. Show, show, them the, show them that. So the project only shows one... Uh, hey! So the project only shows one... Stop touching the camera. Stop. What time does Frumpkin get off the bus? Question mark. Ah, it's right in. Were you napping? Nope. Do you want to show Frumpkin what we were playing with? Frumpkin, you gonna come play? This is where having uh, this is where having more than one little one is a little better than having a big one because uh, if you have multiple kids, they don't always want to share. Nap time. Dinner time. The kids are asleep, so we're going to go ahead and do the rest of these in my office. Um, we'll try to do one project each and see what they look like. This is project 66 out of 101. It's called Electronic Bomb Game. And underneath this paper is a completed circuit. So the person who sets the bomb puts a piece of paper over it so you, the person guessing cannot see which one has a completed circuit. So one of these three is completed. So let's say I guess uh, number the middle one. Pull out, we gotta make sure it's on. Let's try the middle one. Whoo, no bomb. But if I try this one, Let's try that again with batteries this time. As you can see, nothing. Then, but if you, all right, let's try it again for the third time, this time with a speaker 
instead of the uh, whatever transformer that was. So let's see if we can. Whoo. You also have to have it on. Ah! This is project 203 called Finale from the Snap Circuit Arcade. Let's, uh, we got batteries. We have, uh, hopefully all the connections correct. Yeah, pretty close. See what happens. Wow, that's uh, that's intense. Let's see what this does. Huh? Not sure like, exactly what it's doing, but it's definitely a, a a lot of lights. Here we have the four types of snap circuits that we have for review. The the Flying Saucer Plus, great deal. It has uh, several projects in it. The book's very well done. I would recommend this for someone who wants to try out snap circuits for the first time and don't want to spend the extra money on these bigger kits. Although these bigger kits are a good deal. I mean, if you use our, our Amazon link, which is in the, uh, which is in the description, um, not only will you, it not cost you anything, it'll help my family make more of these videos. And right now these are under $20. And this is, I can't remember the price on this. But now, if you want something a little bit more expensive just to try out, this is great. If you have multiple kids and you want to buy one of these with this, also you can use these pieces with these kits. So uh, I was doing um, some educational events with, with kids who had done s snap circuits before. And they were saying how they, when they've done it, they'll double up the battery packs because it gives them more juice. Um, so they'll use two different kits, put them together. And so it's a great way for them to be creative in that sense. Um, these are very good educational tools for kids, uh, educational toys. And these tend to, t these teach a little bit more about blue reading br blueprints and following directions. Uh, it's not quite as, there is some creativity involved and kids can play with it and see what works and what doesn't. And a lot of the creativity comes from when it doesn't work. And they look at their, their their blueprint, and they have to figure out what uh, what went wrong. And so um, these are all for eight and up. And as we saw in the video, I played with it with my kid, my toddlers, and it worked out. But they, um, you wouldn't get as much time. Now, same with this flying saucer plus, you could get you know a few hours, maybe you know, and then put it away and then bring it back out the the um the different projects are relatively quick to do uh you can do them in a matter of minutes and then it's a question of just playing with it fm radio i could never get it to work and even if i did get it to work i have a feeling um feeling that kids probably aren't going to be as excited about this one since it does it's supposed to play the radio which is kind of fun but i feel Something like this, where you have the flying saucer that flies up, um, blinking lights and whatnot. Um, just a better, a better option. And then we have the Snap Circuits Junior. Great kit. You have 101 projects. Um, this would be if I was going to buy, and I didn't know, I didn't, you know, I wanted to save a little bit of money. I'd say go with this. With 101 projects, you can't go wrong. Uh, if you have kids eight or up and they're into putting things together, um, design, electronics, engineering, uh, or you just want to start getting them used to it, used to those things or interested in those things, a great kit to have. The only thing I would change, the only thing you get out of having this giant Snap Circuit Arcade is just more things. So um, this is, has more pieces, 200 and over 200 projects, um, arcade games. This, as we saw in the in the video, has a few games. Not quite as cool as these games, um, but well worth it. So uh, I would recommend. I would start with this one. 
if you if you already know your children like snap circuits you might as well upgrade get a bigger one um, and if you have multiple kids or you have or you have younger kids who you want to just get them started and don't necessarily um, don't want to commit the 20 or so dollars then go with the flying saucer plus so I hope they found that helpful again if you use our link in the description we get a small percentage from Amazon and it helps us be able to make more of these videos as well as uh, it doesn't cost you anything extra so we greatly appreciate it and if you have a moment go ahead and subscribe